when did you join Lords? Was that uh, soon after you'd passed? Or? No, I gave it. Oh, it's nineteen seventy. Was it nineteen seventy? Oh, I think it was February nineteen seventy. Was it easy to join? Yes, in those days. But it was there again, in, it was like the kipper season. Uh, there wasn't much work about This is why a lot, most of the fellas didn't buy their houses, because it was, February was absolutely dead. There's hardly any work about. When did they call it the kipper season? What, why, why did they call it kipper season? Nobody knows. <laughs> they do not know why. Because so you something. had to eat kippers. Yeah, yeah that, I think really that's, yeah, the best. that's all we could afford to put on the table. You always, you've always said over the years that um, the first two groups in London that know what the economy's doing are the prostitutes and the taxi drivers. Yeah, and publicans. And publicans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so then you join the radio sector. Do they then put a radio in your taxi? Yes. I think you had to pay for the fitting. Uh huh. It was pie, and as you go up um, Highgate Hill, it's near your school, you go underneath the bridge, you see, oh God, oh, oh. or well, if you came along Gordon House Road, turn right, you got the pub there, and uh, uh, underneath, you know, these mu- underneath the bridge, you had muses, yeah. and it, it Pie's place was there. That's PYE Pie, like yeah. radio yeah. outfits. Yeah. And they'd, they'd just like wire up an antenna and the... Yeah. Put something in your boot, a big, we had a big box in your, in your boot. Oh, what, like the transmitter? Yes. You had a big mouthpiece there. Oh, that's right, well, like a, it's like the McDonald's drive-through yeah. microphone. When I used to take you to school, we used to hold on to that. And on these days, I'd just come over cold. Because you just sit there holding this thing. Because well, I sat in the front. There was a, a petition there. You know, you sat on the petition and held this thing. Oh, you know, we, could, we couldn't do that these days. I Mind was... you, things were a lot slow. The cams were a lot slow. <laughs> yeah. I had such fond memories. So, yeah, back in the seventies, you could. Well, you could go anywhere in a car, unless like, so you'd be in the boot. And, but in the taxi, you could sit in the front in the luggage compartment. Yeah. I used to love that. Um, and yeah, like you say, so you'd have like this armrest yeah. that I'd sit on and hold oh, the, the microphone. Uh, the microphone, yeah. I'd forgotten that. Oh, oh I haven't. <laughs> no, well, I th- when I think about it these days. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. That was fun though, it's living a little, isn't it? Yeah. So you had a, a, a radio fitting. The other thing I remember with the radio was that um, we were two things. There was a, a secret button. So basically, it was like yeah. a proper button. Yes. So that if. So you were Apple 3 1. Yes. How did you get that number? No, it just dished out. Anyone, you know, John the Circuit, a number was empty and they gave it to you. Someone might have left the circuit. Right. So you were A31, Apple, yeah, Apple which is Apple 3.1. Yeah. And then could you hear other... No. Uh, so you couldn't hear other... You could always hear the central control. Yes. But you couldn't hear what the other... Drivers were saying, no. But you'd hear their call signs. So they'd, they'd call out, I don't know, what would, what would it be? That's like Charlie 2.2 or something. Yes. Mm. Black 6.5 with the pipe or something. Black 6.5 with the pipe? Yeah, because he's always smoking a pipe. <laughs> so he was called Black 6.5 with the pipe? Well, this fella was. <laughs> Were there any others? I can't remember any. <laughs> and, and how'd that work? Would you like start the cab up and would you let them know that you are that you were there? Yeah. They'd just put out a general call? Call me and they would say like Agar Grove going to King's Cross. And you had a call, open call, first call. If it was so many yards on top of it, then you was a quarter of a mile, then you was half a mile. But you could sort of cheat on it, but God, fellas, they always got caught. They're giving a false position. What would happen? You go for all the complaints thing, and they could have been told off or 
less off or whatever. Wow, so it's like a manual Uber, isn't it? So, mm. so they put out a call as pick up from Agar Grove, and right. So the open call is just to see who's there. Yeah, yeah. I it's, can't remember. So you go Apple Three One. I'm, no. I'm in St Paul's Crescent. Yeah, and the nearest driver got the job. But some people don't just come out to the middle. They call like. Hey, I'll go over to King's Cross a short ride. A lot of people didn't want to do it. I just love doing it. The smaller ones. Because there'd, there'd be like a minimum on the clock already. Yeah. Yeah. How did you know what to say? Did they train you? Or was there like a protocol of what you're supposed to say? Yes. Well, you just say Apple 3-1, then the, the dispatcher used to come back to you and say, like, where are you? And you give a position, and then someone else will come in. And they give their position, and you couldn't hear what they were saying anyway. No, and he just repeated it what the other fellow had said. Did you get to know the dispatchers over time? Not or really. Recognize them? Oh, you do, but you never sort of met them. Just plodded along, and they were based in Pentonville Road. The first Pentonville Road, then they moved to Maida Vale. Right. Yeah, because it was um, so. It was, the circuit was called Lords, but the 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 well, not the company, the the organisation was the owner driver drivers, taxi radio uh, ODRTS, the owner drivers radio taxi service. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. And then that became Dialer Cab. Dialer Cab, that's it. And what did Mount View become? Were they? Did they? Oh, they came radio taxis. And then what, Computer Cab came along? That, yeah, because there was so much work, we couldn't cover it. So then the third circuit came up? Yes. Then they couldn't cover it. <laughs> so then a full time. And then none of them. <laughs> now yeah, they're no, starting they're... to fold back down again. Yeah, because <laughs> it's join up. But it's modern technology. I mean, if we'd all been one circuit, you just couldn't cover, yeah. cover the work. Yeah. It's what it's this technology that's changed the job. Yeah. I mean, th instead of asking where Apple 3 1 is, they know where it is because of the, what do they call it, GPS. Yeah. And then uh, and the other thing with the radio was so you had the, the big button that you'd press. Yes. Um, there, was, um, there was a secret button, wasn't there? That's like right. an emergency you, button. You, you, I think it all over, all over the years. Uh, I can only re remember one. One incident where one of our cabs, some car wouldn't let him out of a muse, so he pressed the button, then all the other cabs go round. Right, so, so in, in an emergency, you press this button and it yeah. will cut out all the radios so you could only hear this one taxi. It's like an all, like an yeah. all points emergency. I think, no, what, what, what the fella said, he pressed the button and they just say, right, we've got emergency. Shut your will and be quiet, and then he could hear what he was saying. Right, and then the idea was that you, everyone could go down there to help yeah, him. Yes, but he, but like you said, that only happened once in like thirty years. <laughs> yeah, well, the hours I worked. But then there's that thing in the eighties, which was that that someone was pressing this button, that and you were. But basically, you had your cab fitted with like detection equipment. Oh, it was like yeah. a meter that yes. could measure the strength, and you yeah. were you were they were called rat catchers, secret squirrels. <laughs> I had rat catcher in my head. Okay. And then, well, what was that about? Well, some fellas got the hump to the circuit. Instead of getting ripped out, they, they would just sit in, press that button, and. Just sing or make make a noise. They just had the hump to the circuit. Well, this sort of shows the sort of the mentality of some people. And we used a the London Underground map. You find it's A B C D E F G, and we, it was about four or five of us. And when we were working. And if they said the noise is coming from... Oh, a fella fitted fit his cab up that he could hear the other drivers. 
and they could tell which area you had a um, a screen um, like a meter on your cab and if someone else was misusing your meter would come up yeah it would measure the signal strength yes and then they'd try and try hone and it down hone it down did you did, did they ever catch him no because I joined when there was, there was more than one when people started to realise that they're going to get caught so they didn't do it so much right Thanks for watching. The chat continues on the link on screen here or in the description. And thanks again for showing your love with a thumbs up or subscribe by clicking on my face or the button below. Now here's the next part of the chat with my dad.